I'm going to share with you how to use Send Out Cards. The first thing you want to do is go to sendoutcards.com. You need to log in with your customer ID number or your distributor ID number. So again, sendoutcards.com. We're going to click on Login on the right hand side. Everything is on the red toolbar. I'm going to click on that red toolbar. It's going to ask you for whatever ID number that you have. I'm going to simply log in with mine. You're going to see here, this is the main menu, this is the dashboard. There's bullet points over here, create a card, create a campaign, upload your pictures, add new contacts, go to the photo store and our training products. Over here on the right hand side is your account tab, so it'll tell you what account you're in. Um, you can also click show tips, you can actually see the tips that hover over everything. On the uh, help button there, you can click on downloads, FAQ, site uh, index, tutorials and media. Tutorials and media is our videos on helps helps you understand how to use send out cards. If you are a marketing distributor, you're going to have this button here. It shows you all everything that you can do here from your back office to your training center to your distribution customers, our blog, event map all over the world where events are going, your website options, etc. Um, your pictures right here, if you want to click on pictures, you can actually upload your own pictures. You just click on upload pictures. It's really simple. You click on browse and you simply go to where you store your photographs and all your photographs will come up. So if I want to upload this one, it'll come up upload <clears throat> and it will upload into the system. You can also generate something called QR code. So if you do want to go into YouTube and find a video, uh, it's a little more advanced, but you could certainly do it. QR code, you just type in the YouTube URL and then it click generate and it will generate a QR code. Pretty unique. So people can watch the video uh, if they have a smartphone. Uh, adding a new contact is really simple. You just click on add new contact. You want to fill in the asterisks. We try to get in the habit of getting people's birthdays, month and day. The program will actually remind you with a birth, uh, birthday reminder a week before getting their spouse's information, their children. You can put them in any group that you like. Then you can add notes down here. You can even do something called dated notes. Uh, you can view your calendar here. Uh, dated notes like I just said. Uh, find a contact. You can add groups by clicking on groups. So you can put them in family, friends, prospects, referrals, distributors, customers, and so forth. And then put you can put people in multiple groups. You can also import your database as well. You also have this button called gifts, so you can actually uh, choose a gift, so you can see all the different gift cards you can send out with a card here. You can also send out a send out cards gifts, such as gourmet foods, books, audiobooks, all kinds of different things. We do all the fulfillment for you, uh, for pets, you name it, we have it. And send out cards will actually put the uh, gift out in the ma uh, mail for you. So, um, and then cards right here, if you click over, uh, over over this, it'll say cards, uh, create a campaign. A campaign is if a card if you want to use it more than once into multiple people. Uh, your card history to see how many cards you've sent out in the um, past month or so forth. Uh, create a card, click on create a card. We're actually going to click on create a card right now. I'm going to show you how simple this program is. So you're going to click on create a card. You're going to go into uh, whatever category you want to choose from. I've got about 17,000 cards to choose from in the uh, card catalog. Now, if you don't see a card there that you like, you can certainly add a uh, new one. So it's back to school time. On the inside, there's a message on the inside. Here's to a wonderful new year. So you can certainly uh, just um, uh, go about it doing that way. Now, if you don't like the message on the inside, you can also take it out. With our system, you can create a postcard, a, a two-panel card, three-panel card, and even a big card. You can also add it to favorites. So if you want to add to favorites, you can add it to favorites. You'll notice down here on my cards. And then if I click on my favorites, all of my favorite cards will come up. So let's say if I like this card right here, on the inside it says you can do it. I can send this as a two panel card. I'm going to click two panel card. I'm going to simply uh, type a real quick message. I'm going to send this one out to uh, Mason. You are doing a great job at school just wanted to let you know we are proud of you keep up the good work Jeff and Bolt Bolt's our dog 
So real simple. Uh, I don't know if I put a period there. Now, if you um, didn't spell anything correctly, it'll actually underline in red. From here, you can actually drag your pictures in if you want to. That's that picture that we just uh, said, but we're gonna we can drag this picture of Jeannie and I in if you want to, and just drag and drop. Real simple. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna click on continue. Now from here, this is going to be a return address. This is uh, obviously where it's coming from, and this is where I want to send it. So I've already added Mason and sent cards to Mason. So when you send a card out to someone, it will actually uh, remember their address, so you don't have to retype their address in every single time. You can also add it as a contact or import it. We're going to click on Choose from Contact Manager. I simply type in Mason's name, find contact. There he is, and then it goes right to it has an old address. So I'm just going to PO box. There we go. Now this is a good example because now I can actually store this as a new contact since we did move. I'm going to click on this, continue, and from here I can add a gift like we uh, talked about. Uh, if you are a distributor, you can actually add a, a, a magazine, a workbook, um, you know, card samples, whatever, or you can add a gift uh, like I said earlier. So uh, even for kids, you can see that we have all kinds of different kids gifts. Okay. We're going to click continue without a gift, and then it will say it will be confirmation screen. Uh, this card will go out immediately. Uh, this card is going to cost me three points. Just so you know, one point's a postcard, two is a greeting card. If you upload a picture, it's an extra point, uh, and your expense account pays for postage. So we are sending this card to Arizona, so it's going to in the United States. It's 46 cents for a stamp right now, and it just depends on where you're sitting out in the world. If I'm sending the card out to Italy, it's going to cost me three points for the card because I put a picture inside there and whatever uh, postages to Italy. And it will tell me what I have in my account, what's available. And I'm just going to click this button, send card, and this card will get mailed out in the mail for me. Real simple. Let me show you how to do a campaign real quick. We're going to do a campaign. We're going to click on a create a campaign. We're going to choose this one, 4th of July, 2013. And we're going to click on create a new card for this campaign. Oops, already taken. Maybe I already uh, have it in here. So I do uh, 4th of July. Let's see here. Why is it? So I'm going to click on create a new card. Let's say uh, 4th of July. I'll just say it like that. We're going to click on create a new card for this campaign. Um, you can create multiple cards in a sequence. So it could actually have a drip campaign effect to it. We're just going to create one for this uh, campaign. We're going to click continue. And let's say if I wanted to uh, create a card from scratch, um, I could certainly do that. I just want to let you know that we have all these different categories. So if I did want to uh, choose a uh, 4th of July card, I could. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'll show you how to do your own custom card here in a second. We're going to choose a uh, postcard on this one. And we're going to type in, we're going to do first name. I'll uh, we'll add first name and spouse's name so the program will automatically populate the person's first name and spouse's name. If they don't have a spouse, it's not going to say and spouse, it will just put in their first name. Just wanted to wish you a great 4th of July. Backwards. Okay. And then we're going to click, oh, and if I wanted to, I could actually choose um, a different font. I could even do the cards in my own handwriting, as you can see right there, my own handwriting. That is a feature that you can have. Um, I can choose the different color. If I want to choose a different color, I could just click on this. And maybe, um, there you go, you can't really read that. So we're going to just going to hit back, back, there we go. We'll put it in my own handwriting and click continue and it will save the card. So we're going to save the card to my campaigns and then we're going to go in my contacts. Let's say if we want to pull up all of my um, let's see um, people I, mm, let's see here, um, family. I can pull up my family and 12 contacts come up. I simply select the ones that I want receiving it. Say if I don't want, uh, obviously I don't want her getting two. Um, I don't want them getting two. Um, and so forth. You can kind of get the picture right here. But we're going to select the campaign and we're going to say 4th of July, wherever 4th of July is. There it is. And we're going to click send campaign to check and the card will go out to everybody that's on that list. Really simple, really, really easy, and really convenient. Now if you do want to create your own card from scratch, you certainly could do that. 
can click on create a picture plus 2.0 card and we're going to choose we can uh, choose a 7 by 5 horizontal and we're going to go into uh, we can go into templates if we want and we could um, click on maybe this template just drag it over and then we could go to my pictures there you go automatically put it in there for you and on the front that in the front uh, or in the inside of the card you could do a whatever you want we could do this one this is Mason Bowling span it type your message up here if you want so it's really uh, endless on how you want to um, use the card and send the card out so that's how you do a uh, picture plus card hopefully this video has helped you and hopefully you get a lot of value on using the Sendo Cards program.